All right, everyone, gather around, grab your pieces of carpet, and come sit down. You can get close, don't be shy. I won't bite. No. All right, now that everyone's sit, settled down, who here has a mommy and daddy? Raise your hand. Good, I do too. Now, have you ever wondered how they feel about you? You know, whether you do something really good or when you do something really bad. Well, I'm gonna tell you that no matter what, they love you, always. And I have got a story written by a really nice lady named Marianne Richmond. And she tells a story about how much she loves her child. Now, my name's Brad, and I'm a daddy too. Um, this story is, a, is very special to me because no matter how I, or no matter what happens, I feel, I feel love for my, for my son, no matter what. Now, uh, while I'm telling the story, I want you guys to imagine or like think about the different, uh, the different items or animals or activities or anything like that. I want you guys to think about that and picture that in your head, and that'll have really help really bring the story together. All right, I'm going to start. I love you as bright as each sparkling star, and way out to space, I love you that far. I love you as big as the great lion's roar, and as deep as the ocean, I love you much more. I love you as loud as the thundering sky, and as tall as the mountains, I love you that high. Do you love me every day? You ask with surprise. Or does love come and go, like passing butterflies? I love you as steady as the moon and the sun, though some of our days are not full of fun. Like when you feel mad, you ask with distress. When I've broken the rules or made a big mess, I love you when you're nice and when you're cranky too. I love you without liking the naughty things you do. My love you doesn't change like the weather of the day. It's a certain kind of thing in many different ways. You're my sweetie, my dear, my smile and my giggle, my playmate for always, my hug, and my wiggle. Hanging out with you is where I want to be, eating ice cream sundaes, or sandwiches, or ice cream cones, or watching the TV. Under your umbrella, behind you on a bike, by you and beside you, is what I really like. I can't imagine life before you came along. You're the music to my dance and to my song. I am meant for you and you are meant for me. The one I love forevermore, undeniably. So, which part of that story was your guys' favorite? Did you like the butterfly? You know, can we, we, we can all do the butterfly. You know, the little butterfly or, you know, the ice cream. We all love ice cream. My personal favorite was the lion's roar because I like going to the zoo and the lions are my favorite exhibit. Can you guys do the lion's roar? roar? Now, I think the most important thing about this story is that you need to remember that no matter what happens, you know, whether you spill milk or you go to school and you get a really good grade, your parents are always going to love you. And that's that's an extremely important thing to remember. You know, life, it's, it's very hard, you know, learning and growing up, you know. So as, as you continue on, I want you guys to remember that, that no matter what, no matter the circumstance or anything like that, your parents are always going to love you. Again, my name's Brad, and I had a great time telling you this story. Now go back out to your mommies and daddies and give them a big hug and tell them how much you love them.